Welcome back. Today we're going to be building the Canadian National GF-638B. Now I said I was going to do this one. I made my BCOL 4642 aka GEC44-9WL. So now here we are building it. So let's get started. So let's get black concrete and then another brick stairs. And let's get raw concrete. And we're gonna build a two by three of raw concrete with one of the top sides. And then we're going to build two, a two by two behind this and make the back one to two by five. And let's get another brick stairs and now we so so much of that one's in the corners. And let's get another bit slam for some fun of it with triple hooks on the sides. And now unlike usual, there's usually um red here, but instead I'm gonna use another brick. So yeah, by the way, this is my first Canadian national tutorial. So let's get some another brick fence, some birch fence, and some oak woods. Uh, and let's place this here for the oak wood slab staircase, the yellow. And let's place another brick fence here and here with birch wood fence on the sides. And that's the front there. Let's get white stained glass block and iron frames. <coughs> and then let's place an iron frame here and here with some white stained glass block on it. And then let's get some red wool for the cab. But first, let's get some black concrete and some oak wood slab and some hoppers and some nether brick slab. So, let's, alright, so right after this we're going to build two hoppers, and then we walk two hoppers, and we will walk two hoppers. Now, let's get some stone brick slabs, so we're going to need a lot of slabs here at this point. So in between them let's place some stone brick slab and let's see. Um let's let's get some nether brick slab and go to the left side and um I'm gonna go to the very back stone brick slab here on the left and then on the block a hopper box that's going in much of the front of it. Let's place another brick slab there like that for the staircase that goes up here. This is different from any other locomotive. And then let's go back by nine with the black concrete. Make it three blocks wide. Yeah, it's a nine. Alright, then once we get that, let's place oak wood slab across the whole thing, and we'll add the staircase later. And then, let's build the cab. So, I'm going to clear my inventory, and let's get red wool, case road stairs, signs, log of quartz, red, wait, I already got red wool. Ice thing was block item frames, and that's what I'm gonna get. Oh wait, and black carpet. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna place five blocks of red here, so I built that leg, and then one on the sides with block and quartz on the sides of it, then red wool, and then acacia with stairs, and then let's get a sign, and on the sides of the Three block of quartz for the logo. We're gonna place the number. So I, 
I should just click enter and then add the number. So I'm gonna do five 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 three. Now if you look up PF dash six three eight B you can find numbers like C N. Let's get an iron frame with white stingless block on it. And then on the top of the red wall, let's put this black carpet. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a two by two behind these two bottom ones. Hey. I'm getting tired of this behind. And then we're gonna go up by two on these back ones, like so. And then let's get some another bit of stairs and place them behind the vacation red ones. And let's put red one here and here. And let's place black carpet on top of there. That's red red wall there. And then diagonal, you're going to do this. And then add a Keisha with stairs there. And once we got our black stained glass blocks done, there are these all black. Good. And let's fill these. The heck? These two blocks in, I'm just going to get myself confused. Like that. Sorry about that. It looks so weird so far. I'm gonna put some red wool coming out here, and on these three black wool and red wool, you're gonna place black carpet. Now we're not gonna place one on top of this because this is the bell, like the bell, not the horn or anything, just a bell. So yeah, and then let's get a crafting table, and we're gonna need. Well, you can get a stack of rose if you want, but you're going to have 50 left. So I should just, to save you some time, just get 14. And a black banner. And a crafting table. If you haven't already watched my videos, that's why I'm doing this. Now I've, ha now I've done a tutorial on this and this. And I showed you how to make these banners. So yeah. So we're going to get a crafting table. And we're going to get a black banner. And place it in the center. And place rose red all around it everywhere. And place it on the top center. And below it, we're gonna place a two by three. And it should look like this. Now we're gonna place it right here and here. And that's it for the front. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a two by two of red wool. Then we're gonna get a block of quartz and black stained glass block. And place two blocks of quartz here. The black stained glass block on top of it, like so. And then let's get some acacia wood stairs and some nether brick stairs. And you know this nether brick slab we placed here. This spirit well above it, we're gonna place get rid of that outward slab above it and replace it with an upside down nether brick stair. And then we're gonna get acacia wood stairs and place two upside down ones above it. And on the same side, we're actually on the other side, we're gonna do the same thing with the acacia wood stairs upside down the same spot, but we're not gonna do the nether brick stuff. Let's get our door banner, and we're gonna place two red wool above it, and then we're gonna place the black banner we made the door banner. And let's place some red wool there for it to place it. And then I'm gonna get some nether brick stairs and place some nether brick stairs here for the cab thing here, and. Um, that's all we're going to do, so I'll see you in the next part now. I'm going to end the video here, so I'll see you in the next part. Bye.